It's safe to say AC Milan hasn't had the best of starts to the Serie A that the fans would have hoped for. Being 10th with one win under their belt is absolutely shocking. That's where we come in and rescue AC Milan from the depths and raise them up to be in a powerhouse once again. We have a good solid foundation with Hernandez and Leal. Obviously we've got a few players like Manyang, Pulisic who's alright. They're not the level of AC Milan though are they? You know obviously Leal maybe. By the looks of the team I want to buy a new right back, a new centre back and maybe another camp. AC Milan do not have 76 rated centre backs. Come on EA. The first player of FC 25 career mode I'm going to go after is Cody Gakpo. I don't want to spend over 50 million on him so I'm going to try and offer them Loftus Sheet plus 20 million. They want 40. I can, I can try and squeeze in 30. See what Slot says. He wants 33 million plus Loftus Cheek for Cody Gakpo. You know what? That's quite nice. And I want to play Cody Gakpo up at striker. Hopefully he can join us with the wage demands though. And there we go. Here he is coming into the team. Joining up with our boy, my nan. Yes. There we go. We've got a B. Not too bad. Obviously we have um, Murata. Let's be real. He's getting old and he's not going to play too much, is he? All right, guys. So the second player who I'm trying to get in. The second player we're trying to get in is Malo Gusto. He's worth around 26 million. So I'm going to offer Calabria plus around... I'm going to put 10 million and hopefully... He decides to take it. Enzo Maresca, come on, lad. Give it to me. There we go, guys. We got him for around 26 million. And we got rid of Calabria's wages as well. Not too bad. Hopefully, he accepts this contract. I'm going to give him a five-year contract. So, he'll leave when he's 26. Look how cool my guy looks, by the way. And now for the wages. I'm going to give him 70k or 80k and 30k. Hopefully, he accepts that. That's a reasonable offer. That's good. Her hair was just flipping around. Don't know if you saw that or not, but it was. We have sold off a few players. We sold Florenzi for 3.5 million, Zeroli for 1.6, Sportiello for 5, Origi for 3.2, Balatore for 1.5, Traore for 2.2. Now we're getting into the big boys. We got rid of Okafor. Obviously, he can be a baller, but I'm not really trying to wait. We need to win now. Got rid of Benacer for 47 million. That is amazing. Got rid of Musa, Jimenez, and Malik Tior or Fior on a loan. I know Musa is on a two year loan, so that's quite good. He'll come back in two years, hopefully, be a baller. But with that being said, guys, we have, if we can find it, nearly 300 million. So we need to buy a few ballers. The third player we're going after in the first season is William Saliba. I'm pretty sure he goes for around 70 million. Day 197. You'll get 85 at a push, you know? We're not working with a lot of money here, mate. All right, I'm going to try and offer 88.5 and hopefully he accepts that. That's an unreasonable offer. Saliba might be coming through the doors. And guys, here he is coming through the doors to link up with Mike Manian, Leal and Teo Hernandez. What a baller we've got on our hands now. Saliba, our team looks very, very good. Bad negotiation for who's that? For Okafor, I'm pretty sure that is. But that's fine. You know what? We don't mind. Ben Asser, not great. I mean, we could have got probably a bit more. But William Saliba, 88.5 million. That's pretty good. Let's be real. That is an A-star rating. The fourth and final player we're going to sign this season is going to be no other than Ezekiel Palacio. This is what the team will look like for the first season so far. We have simulated all the way to January. Let's have a look at our team. And first off, we're going to go into team. The squad. I'm going to go into the squad hub so then we can see who's grown in overall. Bang. Wow. My nan has gone up to an 89 rated. So has Hernandez. Saliba and Leal have both gone up to an 88. Tomori's gone up to an 85. Palacio's up to an 85. Pulisic, Morata on 11 goals. Gakpo's on 5 goals. Reinders, Reinders is on eight, got eight assists, and then Pulisic is on five. Liao is on three and four. To be fair, I was kind of hoping for more from Liao, you know, and maybe a few more from what's his name, Hernandez. Right now, we are in the Super Cup against Juve. To be fair, that's four good teams are still in it, so we might not win that. I'm not really going to be happy if we don't, but it's okay. All right, guys, so here is the Syria. Where are we? We're third. You know what? Not bad. We'll get UCL football next year as well. 14 
goal difference, sorry. So far, we've got 35 points. We're only three away from Roma in second, but we are nine away from Inter Milan, which is not good, is it? We're going to go all the way to May and hopefully be, unless we get through the UCL. All right, guys, so we're going to go to the next UCL games. Hopefully, we can win them. We'll start going through the quarterfinals and then the semifinals and then hopefully the final if we can get to it. All right, guys, here we are. Champions League round of 16 day. Let's go. We lost our first game, unfortunately, to Benfica. 2-1 but look at that team we've got a few ballers in there Niall's now up for an 89 as well we're looking quite good guys let's be real but we're going to quick it. hopefully we can beat Benfica away unlucky we couldn't do it 1-1 3-2 on aggregate that is not great but I wasn't expecting to win the Champions League in the first season with AC Milan right guys so we are now in May let's go straight to the team sheets because that's oh no not the team sheets sorry squad hub that's the one right team overall 89 rated for Teo, my nan, Leao, 88 for Saliba, 86 and 86 for Palacios and Tomori, Reindeer is up to 85, Gakpo and Pulisic and Fafana up to 84, Gusto is also up to an 82, now that's not bad, wow, Cody Gakpo, our first signing of the year, got 26 goals and 5 assists, now that's what you call an impact signing, Christian Pulisic also got 17 and 10, which is quite good too, and then Morata got 14 goals, Leao got 13 and 8, Jovic even got 10 and 1 and then reindeer's got 8 and 4 not bad that's actually quite a good team goal scoring session oh we came second we decided we we got further than roma but we couldn't catch up to inter milan i mean that's not too bad our first season we got second all that means is we're going to get better next year we need to go further in the champions league and we also need to be inter season number two is underway season two is here and we are going after one of the best young players in the world if you didn't know laminian mal can go up to a 94 rated Check my short down below. Check my short. I used to. I did one the other day on how Yamal, Endrick, uh, Zaire Emery, and a few other players have amazing potential and are under 18 years old. That is amazing. Lamine Yamal is 17 years old. We're going to give him a crucial place. We got him for 3 million plus Pulisic. Now, that's a big, big player to get rid of. Bring in Lamine Yamal. We, this is the first career mode of the year. We have to get the best player in, surely. Well, one of the best players. Best youngster, 100%. Obviously, we've got players like Mbappe, Haaland, Bellingham. They don't count. Let's be real. A rating because obviously we only paid 3 million, but he's 83 rated already. The second player of season number two is going to be Eduardo Camavinga. Hopefully he'll accept our contract though. He is currently playing at Man City. So, I mean, he did cost a bit more. He cost 88 million. However, we still have around 89 million left to spend. And I think I want to get a better right back now. Malo Gusto has been decent, but I need a superstar now. We are going for the Champions League. I am not giving you 5 million, mate. I am really sorry. I'll give you 150k. Take that. That's a reasonable offer. Probably a bit too much, but we have the money. All right, guys. The third and final player of this season is going to be, hopefully anyway, Ashraf Hakimi. That's a reasonable offer for Hakimi. That's good. We're paying 50 million for him, but he's, I think, 85 rated maybe. And he's only, he's 26. So he'll still be here for a few years if he can't win this season. And here he comes. Ashraf Hakimi is joining the boys. What a team we're going to have now. Our lowest rated, I'm pretty sure, is 84 Gakpo, who was our top goal scorer last year. So that's pretty good. Let's be real. And obviously, with that being said, we have a good team on our hands now we have we are now in january and we have got 40 points and we're only four points behind first we are third right now so we're not doing too bad how are we doing in the super cup we beat napoli so we're into the final of that how are we doing in the Coppa italia i don't know if we're in it yet or not okay that's fine i mean that's all right i guess the next stage we progress to the next stage i mean i hope anyway Okay, there we go. Rafa Leal is on 13 goals and 5 assists. Gakpo again, he's got 11 and 3. Colombo, sorry, he's got 7 goals. Fair enough to him. Hakimi's got 6. And then from there, it's kind of bad. I mean, it, it's not looking good, really and truly, is it? Alright guys, so unfortunately, we lost to Manchester United twice. We lost 2-1 in the first game and 3-2 in the second game. 
that is completely unrealistic. Manchester United will never, well, not never, never is insane. But Manchester United this season aren't good enough to get through the Champions League. Let's be honest, I'm going to be surprised if they get top four this year. All right, guys, so here we are. We are now in May. And obviously, we didn't win the Champions League, which isn't great. But it, I didn't really expect us to win. However, we did win the Serie A. We got 89 points. We did do it. We've won a trophy. Thank God. Super Cup. We won the Super Cup as well. Let's go. Copper Italia. All right, guys, the first side signing of season number three is going to be an absolute baller we are lacking in strike we need a player who's going to score 40 goals a season and that man here is Lautaro Martinez yes we're going after Lautaro Martinez mainly because he plays for Inter Milan so if he plays for Inter they lose a striker who's obviously world class we gain him we're going to easily win the league now so that should just make more players want to come and at the end of the day make us win the Champions League all right guys season number three is well underway we've already got Lautaro Martinez in and now we're going after Valverde. Man City have accepted a bid of 115 million plus Malo Gusto. <laughs> Yeah, we are truly getting screwed. But with that being said, his wages aren't that bad. I'll be honest. We're only going to get two players in this season because our team's quite good. All right, guys, season three is here. We are in January. All right, guys, so we're in the final of the Super Cup. That's good. The Coppa Italia is still underway. The Serie A. We are first, baby, with 48 points, zero losses. That is amazing. With that being said, guys, let's go and find. We're going to simulate till the second leg of the Champions League. And hopefully this time we can beat whatever team we're coming up against. All right, guys, here we are. We are in round of 16. We are playing against Liverpool. We did beat them in the first game 3-1, which is quite good. So hopefully we can do it again. I mean, we can't see their team right now, but our team looks really good. So let's quick sim it. Hopefully we can beat them. There we go, guys. Rafael Leal comes in and scores a goal. All right, guys, here we go. We're playing against Napoli now. Quarterfinals, that's the one. We beat them in the first game 1-0. So we're not over the line yet. Our team does look insane, though. I'm just going to keep saying it. Our team looks amazing. We should be winning the Champions League. That being said, let's go. We can beat them surely. Come on, EA. Exactly. 5-1. Gakpo, Colombo. Gakpo again. And Camavinga. All right, guys. So we are now coming up against Arsenal in the semi-finals at home. That's pretty good good they've got the home field advantage we did beat them in the first game as well i think it was 2-1 correct 2-1 so let's hope and pray we can beat them in the second leg yes there we go into the final baby and we're gonna play the game all right guys here we go we're gonna be in the champions league final against barcelona obviously we have laminia mal who obviously played for barcelona that's gonna be quite interesting to see him coming up against his old team but with that being said here we go the first champions league final of the year first career mode could be coming to an end of the year look at their team they've got a decent team but we've got a better team let's be real that's what we're hoping for we're hoping for it to be orange and orange and white come on boys let's go here we are first kickoff of the year bang there we go tamori gets it to leal leal does a beautiful skill to get away from his man he gets it to martinez martinez can see the run of camavinga but camavinga can he make it can he get there get rid Hakimi, can, can you get rid of it? No, he's giving him a penalty, guys. We need to save this. Come on, my nan. Come on. No, he's gone to the left and we went to the right. It's not been a great first half, let's be real. But 1-0 is not too hard to come back from. We can do it. Victor Gokarez. Oh, what a save. We're getting absolutely demolished. I think we need to make a substitute. All right, Kamavinga, you haven't done much. Palacios, we're going to have to come in. Beautiful. There we go. Sub for sub. Let's go. But Hernandez is on the ball. So we're going to see him running up against Conor Bradley. He absolutely demolishes Bradley in pace. He gets it to Martinez. Martinez sees Palacios. Palacios. Wow. What a goal. Palacios. Super sub indeed. Let's go, baby. He's only been on the pitch for five minutes. And he scores us in the Champions League final. Let's go. Come on. One more. We need one more, boys. Let's go. Go get me that goal. All right, guys, we're going into extra time now. It is 1-1 in the Champions League final against Barcelona. We're only in it because my boy Palacios came off the bench and scored. So let's see if our boys can do anything now. Uh, no. All right, guys, here we go. Penalties against Barcelona. 
in the Champions League final. I'm going to stay in the middle and unfortunately they score an absolute banger. Gakpo, I'm going to try and go to the left. To Stegen can't save it no matter what. Alright, Alaba, you're going to the left, mate. I meant right. I clicked right. I clicked right. No. Lautaro Martinez, slap it in the corner. The right-hand side, beautiful. Come on. Rafinha, you don't want to score, mate. I know you don't. I know you don't. Just go. But Rafael Leal, Rafael Leal, you scored a banger, baby. We're winning against Barcelona. Come on, Ferran Torres. You're going to go right, baby. Oh, you went left. You went left. You went left. Lamine Yamal, score against your boyhood club. And make it 4-3. Come on, one more. My nan, you need to score. You need to save this. It's against Christopher Nkunku. Nkunku's going to try and do a middle shot. And I guessed it right. We've won the Champions League, boys and girls. Let's go. AC Milan are Champions League winners. Let's go, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And there we are, guys. The save of the game. And Kunku goes down the middle. We guessed it correctly. And AC Milan have won the Champions League. Let's go. How many trophies did we win, though? I'm, I saw three there. That's a treble. We've won the treble with AC Milan in the third or fourth season. What a team we have created. We won the Serie A Champions League. And I'm assuming the Coppa Italia. And look at our players. They deserve it. What ballers. What amazing fans. Speaking of fans, if you guys would like to subscribe and comment and leave a like, that would be much appreciated. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.